Language is the only thing worth knowing, even poorly. My view is that knowing languages is part of the process of becoming a cultured person. Aside from mastery in the fine arts, success in learning anything is the result of genuine interest and amount of energy dedicated to it. He who knows other languages feels even closer to his own language. Knowledge, like a nail, is made load-bearing by being driven in. If it's not driven deep enough, it will break when any weight is put upon it. One should connect language learning with either work or leisure, and not at the expense of them, but to supplement them. I never looked for or found national differences in the various places of the world, only common features, eternal human nature. Study has never been a burden for me, but always an inexhaustible source of joy. Repetition is as an essential element of language learning as a knife is to a lathe or fuel is to an internal combustion engine. To speak a foreign language is a matter of practice and mistakes will be made. Unfortunately, it is difficult for intellectually confident people to accept making mistakes. Therefore, they may refrain from speaking. Language is present in a piece of writing, like the sea in a single drop. I mention the library only as a last resort. I recommend buying your own books. They can be spiced with underlines, question marks and exclamation points. They can be thumbed and dog-eared, plucked to their essential core and annotate it so that they become a mirror of yourself. The beauty of a language is generally judged by its soft or rigid, melodious or harsh ring. Other aspects, such as the flexibility of derivation, play hardly any role in grading. Were it the case, Russian would certainly be placed on the winner's stand it would rank first in plasticity. At first, we should read with a blitheness practically bordering on superficiality. Later on, with a conscientiousness close to distrust. Whenever I read statistical reports, I try to imagine my unfortunate contemporary, the average person, who, according to these reports, has 0.66 children 0.032 cars and 0.046 TVs. Solely in the world of languages is the amateur of value. Well-intentioned sentences full of mistakes can still build bridges between people. A book can be pocketed and discarded, scrolled and torn into pages, lost and bought again. It can be dragged out from a suitcase, opened in front of you when having a snack, revived at the moment of waking, and skimmed through once again before falling asleep. It needs no notice by phone if you can't attend the appointment fixed by the timetable. It won't get mad if awakened from its slumber during your sleepless nights. Its message can be swallowed whole or chewed into tiny pieces. Its content lures you for intellectual why and what adventures, and it satisfies your spirit of adventure. You can get bored of it, but it won't ever get bored of you. 
nem fogadom el azonban azt a véleményt, hogy aki túljutott az ember élet útjának felén, az már nem tud egy idegen nyelvet megtanulni.